Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 40. And we're basically, I'm ready to go into dilation, so let's stop eternity grinding. I'm only at about 120,000 anyway, and let's just get straight into this. So we're going to go into the dilation build and go into dilation. Now, some people are saying 233 might be better than 234. I, I don't know what's better. Of course, the first dilation run is a pain, especially with out study 193. Maybe I can get replicated galaxies or something, but it's it's quite rough. And this is with the idle path buff. Like, ouch. Like, am I gonna get anywhere here? Um, what do I do at this point? Grind attorneys? Maybe maybe what I'm gonna do. Exit dilation, switch up my build. Um, actually, what I want to do is I'm going to just edit because it's just one study change. I can probably do it like this. No, I can't actually. Um, if I just go into here and instead of doing 234, I do 233. Um, let's see if this works. This might actually, I don't know. My hopes aren't all that high. But we, we can try. Once I get this one dilation run in, it's going to be so much better. So going with study 233 gets me up to about um, six replicated galaxies instead of four. However, the, I don't have the better sacrifice. So it's that is actually, it's a little bit better at this point. The thing is that because of its replicanti is still slow at this point, there isn't much I can do to speed things up at this point. I keep saying at this point. Maybe I just need to grind eternities. Still. Even here. I have to grind eternities. Or wait like a ridiculously long time. Which I am not doing. So exit dilation. Unfortunately. We're still grinding eternities. And... This this set of eternity grinding is much worse than before. Yes, it's faster, but uh it's nasty. Seen a bit. Okay, so I grinded up to about like two hundred thousand eternities, and then I was in dilation for like 10-15 minutes. So still actually pretty bad. And now I can gain E well nine E4 tachyon particles. This is where things are gonna start going crazy. And with my, like, th like this is because of the 20 times tachyon particle buff. It's crazy. And with all the other stuff, it's just going to be crazy. So let's begin. We can instantly get the first two upgrades. Like, oh my god. And, yeah, it. I kind of... Okay, let's... How much do you want to go into dilation at this point? Because I do. I have a triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. Okay, yeah, I can easily reach E... <laughs> E4, E308 infinity points. So, yeah, you can see how quick this is. And also, it's around here. We can start seeing how good the multiplier at a dilated time from Replicanti is. It, it's about two, three times at this point, but it's only going to get better from here. So, it, it's insane how quick I am going. Like, this, this is new game plus, plus, plus blue power speed. Actually, it's even faster than that, probably. Um... I didn't really get much there, but that's okay. We can also get these, which is pretty cool. Um, I do, I do want this brings up the other thing. I want to go for the telemechanical process again. I messed up last time. I don't want to mess up this time. I'm, I might just avoid getting this upgrade. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. Um, at the same time, we're just gonna go into dilation, get more attorney points. I can buy max all right now because I. I'm not quite at the E15 dilated time per second. And, yep, E11, E12, the infinity point dilation upgrade is coming, except we got another triple the amount of tachyon particles. So there we go. And the, there is the infinity point dilation upgrade. I think I probably want to get a little bit more because that upgrade's actually pretty good for getting tachyon particles. So what does this put me at? It puts me at... E1649 eternity points with a lot of potential to go up further. 
and I can I can keep gaining dial at a time. It's it's starting to get a little slower due to the lack of the tachyon particle formula is better upgrades because those are just so good in new game plus plus plus. I'm also, I'm not even using an option optimal dilation build. It's just that fast that I don't even need to do something like that. And also, the, the interesting thing here about this glyph that I have that is boosting the dilated time based on Replicanti is that in New Game Plus Plus Plus, one of the like two upgrades here is literally the literally the reverse. It is boosts replicanti based on dilated time so that that's kind of an interesting little fact there so now up to e1895 eternity points i might eventually need to get the um the the upgrade down here because of um how it's, it's actually my my total gain of what or no like I mean, how do I explain this? I think time theorems boost my um, time dimensions because of this upgrade. And it's probably actually pretty significant. Like, this just went from 1.5e3 to 4e3, or to 8e3. So that's, that's like buying one, that's like getting this. Just buying one of each. Which, okay, maybe it's not that much, but I think I really will need every little bit here. But at this point, I'm cruising. I, I don't need any help. And it's still a little... It's starting, it is starting to get slow-ish. Because the lack of the triple the amount of tachyon... Or no, the tachyon particle formula is better upgrades. That That is okay, I guess. Um, whatever. How much replicanti am I getting? It's now up, I, I can now up, reach about E10,000. And this this seems like a point where things are slowing down. I would normally have the fifth time dimension at this point. Okay, I've, I now have enough attorney points for that, theoretically. So, it actually might get pretty rough from here on out. And maybe I want to start going into the specialized dilation build. Maybe I want to save a... Um, what? <laughs> yeah, save, save a build. Uh, no, not save. Let's go into a dedicated dilation build for this this also probably helps with actually getting more dilated time even though the replicanti is a little bit slower i still think it's better you can see because i'm using a better build and i just gained more that was like four times the amount of attack and particles not three times so yeah i think active is the best way with these four studies of course and i i'm still jumping up like a lot here especially with an upgrade like this one yeah e200 attorney points in one go so maybe this is possible who knows i mean here here we go again 150 orders of magnitude it's not as much but i'm pretty close to something like e3000 attorney points which is very very respectable at this point and I know I can just go on a longer run, and I can get pretty easily up to something like E18,000 Replicanti because of just how fast I am gaining Replicanti here. And the thing is, I'm just the replicated galaxies are actually holding me back in this regard. And but like the thing is, at this point for my upgrades, I have the three times replicative amplifier. But then I also have the Cosmically Duplicate, which gets me about 10 times Replicanti speed at this point. So, yeah, this is this is the part of the game where I was playing with that upgrade. So, I guess, let's see, e, almost E3050 Eternity Point. So, it's almost, we're almost like, I, I feel like we're almost there, but we're, we, no, I, I, still have, I still have a ways to go from here. It might seem like I'm progressing significantly but things are actually slowing down and i can probably pretty easily hit like e20 or even e22 dilated time but even with that the eternity points might start getting a bit hard to get so i think the runs are going to become longer at this point i might do a save and get the generate the passive 
time theorems. And also, by the way, with those time theorems, I can actually get, let's see, 5e5, that's only about 2,000 seconds to reach the 8th time dimension. Normally this takes many hours, but because of the tachyon particle buff, and this is without this is without getting this, which is just a few seconds away. What when when I do this and go into my dilation bill with my extra buffs here, it's gonna be even less. So let's see. Here we go. Get this, and it's gonna get me again more than triple, like significantly more than triple the amount of tachyon particles. So Let's see, we can go here, active, get, grab these studies, shift click, buy max of these, why not? And now it's two, so now it would only be 500 seconds. That is under 10 minutes to the eighth time dimension, which is kind of wild. All the hype seems to be dying a little bit because things are slowing down, both on the dilated time front and on the eternity point front. So what I think I'm going to do is come back, I'm going to do some off-camera progression, come back in a couple hours, and we'll see where I am. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, like, about an hour later, and I can get triple the amount of tachyon particles gained right off the bat, but then I can also get some, if I can get two double DT gain and a... Um, reset the dilated time, but gain, you know, more galaxies. So I'm going to do that, go into the active build, get these studies, and let's see how many eternity points I can get now. I'm up to E3580, so we're not quite all the way. It gets up to like E3600. And I'm quickly getting more dilated galaxies here already back up to e19 almost e20 dilated time so it looks like without even needing to get those additional time theorems which i might actually do i might because i feel like i will need that final push to e4000 eternity points because yes i'm making good progress but it's we're i still feel like I'm not quite a stone's throw away from E4000 eternity points yet. So actually, it looks like we're progressing really nicely here. I'm maintaining about 50 orders of magnitude of eternity points. This is also without any like study 193 optimization. That's another thing I could do. Eternity grind. While like the, the, pro the problem with eternity grinding is that I can't combine that with a good dilate, dilated time grinding, I guess. So, yeah, that's annoying. But I don't think I even really need to do that. Because, okay, it's starting to, to really slow down. But it's probably only just a few more runs until I make it all the way to E4000 attorney points. What am I actually going to do? I am going to export my save. Actually, I'll, I'll probably even export one more time. I'll get this, whatever, E3913 or whatever. I'll do this. I'll export my save so I don't mess this up. And then I'm getting this because it's going to get, it's not going to get me more time dimensions yet. Um, just don't click the buy max button here, but it's going to get me more time theorems, which will just give me another push. So this time, be careful, just click these four buttons, and I think I'll be able to hit E4000 Eternity Points and unlock the Telemechanical Process, which is going to be pretty nice. So yeah, here we go, E4000, and I have unlocked the Telemechanical Process. So here we go, now we only have three more upgrades in the second and third rows to unlock. Next episode, we're going to see what kind of glyphs. We have actually before next episode, we can see real quick what happens when I actually click max all. Here we go. Yeah, that is how powerful the fifth through eighth time dimensions are.
I also need to actually purchase the stud. The, the, wait, I don't even have the eighth time dimension. That That's how powerful this actually is. I mean, I do have the eighth time dimension. I just, I must have spent all of the time theorems. But yeah. Um, reality. Well, we're not going to reality next episode. Or at least I don't think. But we're going to see what kind of glyphs we have next episode. And this is going to determine a lot of things. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.